Restless legs, night cramps, and chronic twitching. Dr. Greg Silverman is joining us now with, uh, she whiz. Nocturnal this, pain. This a Nocturnal lot of leg pain. From this. A lot of people suffer from this. And the, and the, and the problem is, is that we don't really know what causes it. I mean, there, there are potential causes. Sometimes medicines can cause pain in your legs. Sometimes uh, uh, ischemia or blocked arteries can cause pain in your legs. But you kind of have to separate those things out. And then the question is, is, okay, well, if you don't know what causes it, it's very difficult to treat it. it, it not everything works. Are more people, are certain people prone to this more than others? Generally elderly people, generally people with diabetes, sometimes people with hypertension have this as well. Uh, but but genetic-wise, there's no genetic sort of mutation that's found. I know as I got into my 30s and I'm moving into my 40s now, they say caffeine is a big... There <laughs> are some things that. that will do this. You know, certainly caffeine, certainly high sugar and high, high, high salt diets will do this sometimes. Sometimes if you have swelling in your legs, that will do that. So there's a lot of different things that it's not a bad idea to talk to your physician about and say, look, I, ha I have restless legs or I have... It, well, restless legs and night cramps are a little bit different. Restless mm -hmm. legs is a little bit different. It can sometimes be treated with medicine. What I have used and what people have started using is magnesium, uh, over-the-counter magnesium pills sometimes, sometimes low calcium. So if you take calcium, sometimes that will help. Um, certainly differentiating out between whether or not this is ischemic or whether or not there is a medicine that could potentially do this. And a, a lot of times just sort of Tylenol with Benadryl, the nighttime, the PM sort of Tylenols, the PM Advils, those work as well. Does exercise help in any way? Like you exhaust yourself it, it, out? It can, sure, it, it can, but certainly not exercise before you go to bed. Sort of exercise sort of in the day sometimes will do this. And so uh, that's, a, that's not a bad option as well. Okay, hey, I tell you, when you get it, you can't. When you get it, it, it hurts. And I, I, the, the, but the best things really are the Tylenol PMs, the, 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 the get some sleep. We used to be able to give quinine. Mm -hmm. You can't give quinine anymore. Nobody, you can't even get it anymore. So, so Tylenol or one of those talk is, is with the your best. Doc. Okay. Sure, Thank talk you for coming on, on spring break. Well, we happy spring it, break. Good, good luck. There you it's go. a little cool today, yeah, but, yeah, I know, but right. go out there. We'll have to change that. That's why we're going to turn it over to Sean right now and figure out when is it going to warm up for spring break. Well, unfortunately, we have to go through... Uh